Hey guys, what's up? This is Meathead Mikel from MeatheadGaming.com and today I'm going to show you guys how you can farm up about a thousand, maybe more, common debris in one hour of gameplay. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing quick runs on normal difficulty with a Tempest Rush slash Dashing Strike Monk through Halls of Agony 2 getting Torture Racks or Torture Tools Racks for the Whites. And you don't need to do a high difficulty for this. Um, you don't need to do a lot of damage. You really don't even need a lot of toughness, and you don't need good gear either. This is something everyone can do. And you know, for those of you who don't know, common debris is kind of the material that's needed uh, to craft Archon recipes. You know, um, such as like razor spikes of dexterity. You know, Archon armor of dexterity. Archon gauntlets of dexterity. Archon spalders of dexterity and some other things. So you need common debris and you need a lot of it. And these items are, you know, better than almost everything that you're going to find, uh, for the most part, in 2.0 before ROS hits. I mean, legendaries like, for example, for shoulders, seven sins, they roll higher stats than rares do, obviously. But you know, the recipe for that, if you don't already have it, is like 100 mil on the auction house right now and you know, the crafting requirements are higher so it's not really worth it you can get very very good gear just from crafting these items that'll take you through torment you know three four whatever pretty easily so anyway i'm going to show you guys how you know my build my skills that sort of thing and then we're going to do about 15 minutes and so you guys can actually see how many i farm up so uh, first of all let's look at skills Basically, we want to move as quickly as possible across the map, ignore everything. So we're going to be using Tempest Rush, Tailwind, that's going to give us 25% movement speed while we're running. I'm using Air Ally for the Spirit Regeneration. I'm using Dashing Strike with Way of the Falling Stars so that I get another speed boost, uh, like a little mini sprint after I use Dashing Strike. This slot, you can use whatever. Um, I use Serenity Ascension just in case I run into an Elite that's also a Jailer um, or like a Vortex or something, just so I can keep running so it doesn't slow the run down. This is whatever. I don't care about dealing damage. You're not here to kill anything. You're just here to get whites. And Mantra Healing Circuit Breathing for a Spirit Regen. Down here, I'm using Exalted Soul for Spirit Regen, Chance of Resonance. Uh, you can actually switch this to Guardian's Path, and it might give you more spirit regen. And then I'm using Fleet Footed to give myself 35% movement speed instead of the 25% cap. As far as Paragon points go, um, I'm doing resource cost reduction. This is what matters most. The rest doesn't matter. Here, you know, resist all, and then I'm doing life regen because we're playing on normal. Again, this doesn't matter. This, this is such an easy run. You don't need gear to do this. So none of this doesn't matter. Here, just whatever. Just don't get attack speed because attack speed is going to actually increase the cost of your Tempest Rush because you're going to be attacking faster, so you're going to be burning through spirit faster. So just don't do attack speed. Um, here, put how many ever points you need into movement speed so that you can hit the cap. And then um, the rest I would put in vitality. So you don't really need Paragon points even to do this. More than anything, the resource cost reduction is nice because what you want is you want your spirit regeneration per second to exceed your spirit cost per second. So my spirit cost is basically 10 per second while channeling, and I'm at an attack speed of 1.13. So I'm spending about 11.3 spirit per second, and I'm getting 12.17 back. And, but I'm actually spending even less than that because I have you know, resource cost reduction right here. So with these numbers, the toughness, the damage, don't pay attention to any of that. It doesn't really matter. Again, um, I went with life per second you know, on my Paragon just so I could get kind of an absurd amount of regen. Again, none of this matters. You know, I'm, I'll go through my gear real briefly, but you know, weapon... Uh, use anything you want. You know, this is just some crappy legendary I found. It has vitality on it. Uh, boots, same thing. Just get something with movement speed. Pants, doesn't matter. I'm not using even the sockets. Uh, rings, it doesn't matter. You know, just don't get anything with attack speed. I just put some stuff on that I found. Belt, doesn't matter. Chest, doesn't matter. Bracers, don't matter. 
gloves. I probably should actually take the attack speed off of these, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, shoulders, amulet. You know, the only piece that really matters is helm. And you can craft, if you craft about five of these, you're going to get the spirit regen. You kind of want the spirit regen on the helm. And you want to use a slow two hander so that you know, you're not burning through the spirit. Because if you see right now, I'm Tempest Rushing, and my spirit is staying topped off. So I'm never going to run out of spirit. So I can do this entire run, which is actually less than like two minutes, uh, without ever losing any spirit. And as far as movement speed goes, you know, I'm at 35 cap right now. If I Tempest Rush, I get to 60. And then if I'm Tempest Rushing after using Dashing Strike, I'm up to 80 for you know, like three seconds and then I'm back down to 60. So it's very high speed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and I'm going to time, uh, I'll say about 15 minutes of this. And uh, ping is a little bit better. By the way guys, patch 2.03, Blizzard kind of jacked up the latency. So anyway, we're going to start the timer right now and we'll do a few of these runs. Go to Halls of Agony 2. And we're going to be looking for torture tool racks. And just ignoring everything else. Again, do this on normal difficulty. Uh, you don't care about killing anything. You just want to get through the map as quickly as possible. And some runs, you know, you're going to find a lot of them. Some runs, not as many. But you want to clear as much of the map as possible without backtracking too much. And so see, so far, all right, here's one. These are the racks that you're looking for. And I'd say per run, you know, you might average like three to six, maybe. On this run, I'm actually not getting very lucky, but this is why we're going to do about 15 minutes of this. So you guys can see, you know, what it actually averages out to. And... For dashing strike, you know, there's a way to optimize this build even further. I didn't really think like too hard about it. I just wanted something that I knew was going to be fast. I thought about doing this with a sprint barb. Uh, it, it could work, but you need fewer generation, and that's not. It, it still wouldn't be as fast as the monk. You know, Blizzard said that they want the monk to be the fastest class in the game as far as movement speed goes, and they lived up to their word. You know, they have, they can exceed, it's the only class that can exceed the movement speed cap with the passive. You know, and then they have all these other skills that let them travel through the map very, very quickly. Dashing Strike is amazing. It's, uh, it's basically like a teleport wormhole. So, and by the way guys, that first run was only a minute and a half. So, these runs go incredibly quick. And you can do this kind of casually, I mean, you don't have to try and get every single one. I'm sure when I review this video and when you guys watch it, you know, you're gonna see that I've missed a few parts or that there's a way to do this better. And that's okay. I mean, that's not really a big deal. You know, so here's, so this is where I'm getting a little bit more lucky. I mean, you just want to get some. And over the course of several runs, it's going to average out to about a thousand per hour. And with a thousand common debris, you can get, you know, you can, you can craft a lot. And you can actually, you farm this for an hour, and you're going to end up dropping like 10 million gold plus on crafting just from the other crafting materials like the iridescent tears and the exquisite essences and brimstones if you're um, crafting legendaries I think um, so because I don't I haven't crafted any legendaries I just no need to not worth it in my opinion so this is basically the run I mean it's very simple you can backtrack if you want you don't have to exit the game like I did when you go into a corner you can do this fairly casually I mean, it's not, you know, this isn't like, this doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you can just kind of zone out for about an hour and you'll have enough to craft 
hundreds, you know, literally hundreds of Archon Rares and, you know, boots, helms, whatever, assuming that you have the gold to do so. So look at this, guys. That's that's a lot of whites. And that's, that's a lot of whites. I mean, this is actually pretty insane on this run. And you will get runs like this, too, where you just find, like, 7, 8, you know, maybe even, like, 10 whites in a single two-minute run. I mean, that's... This is nuts. So... You know, when you average this out, a thousand common debris is really easy to get. And, again, you don't have to do this. I mean, you can do, you know, Cathedral, four clears on Torment 6, uh, which is what I do for when I play solo for XP, for the most part. And, you know, there's weapon racks and armor racks and Cathedral. Uh, you're not going to get nearly as many whites as you would do in this. And, of course, the runs are going to be longer because you're actually farming XP, but you'll still get some. So, it's not like you can't get common debris doing other things. That's just, this is a super fast way if you specifically want this. And, <clears throat> now as you guys are watching this, kind of keep in mind that this, this style of build will work for any kind of speed runs. You know, this is, this is still going to have value in a couple weeks when ROS comes out. Because a lot of recipes in Reaper of Souls require uh, a certain white item, you know, such as like white boots or white gloves or white armor um, as actually a material requirement and you have to find those. So, you know, farming for farming racks or chests or whatever, you know, if those racks or chests drop certain items that you're looking for, you're going to want a class and a spec that's going to be able to do it quickly and efficiently. And this is, you know, from somewhat limited testing that I've done, this is the most efficient uh, way that I found. Look at that paint, guys. And, you know, I think if you really did this organized, you could probably even get up to, like, maybe 1,500 white items. Or not white items, uh, 1,500 common debris per hour. But, you know, one of the other things that's slowing me down right now is Blizzard um, kind of jacking up this latest patch 2.03. And making every making the entire game lag severely, making it almost unplayable in a lot of cases. So if I wasn't getting this lag, um, and if I was able to you know, get in and out of the games faster, that sort of thing, then you can optimize this even further and get even more drops. So, but e even with a thousand, I mean that's. That's very significant. So this is what you kind of want to avoid. I don't want to get vortex or any of that. So I'm just gonna keep running because that's gonna slow down your runtime. You know, and you got nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about doing this on normal difficulty. So when you think about it, and you actually get a few pulls too in the process. And when you think about it, this is actually a really good way to, you know, gear up. To, hot, to handle like higher tournament difficulties or just you know higher difficulties in general. <clears throat> because you know this is super easy. This is a super easy run. Spend a little bit of gold, craft up some items, and now you know you combine those rares with other things and you know you can all of a sudden handle tournament one, tournament two, maybe even three. And by the way, this down here on this minimap, this area right here, always, always spawns a torture tool rack down here. So it's kind of a good, it's kind of a good place to end your run. Let's go ahead and see how much I have so far. So that's what I farmed so far, and we're at the eight and a quarter minute mark. So I should have after 15 minutes, uh, I'll probably have a full. You know, full stack, and then we'll see. You know what that comes out to per hour after we salvage the items. Just keep doing these runs over and over. Uh, they're not the most fun. I mean, you know, you're not really getting XP or anything. 
I'm doing this because we're on normal difficulty. I mean, if you guys haven't noticed, my XP bar hasn't hardly moved at all. But that's not the purpose of this. And this isn't something you're going to be doing you know, for any prolonged amount of time anyway. This is literally, you do this for an hour, and then... Like, you're probably going to spend more time crafting and evaluating your crafted items then you will actually farming for the materials to craft those items, so... You know, you don't... This is literally like once every... I don't know how many hours... How many days thing that you do. And the other bonus, you know, if you... Keep playing with, let's say... You know, say you do this with a monk and you keep playing with your monk. Well, the other bonus is you're going to get some pools of reflection stacks, so then you can go to a higher difficulty and you know, get higher XP. And we're hitting the... we're approaching the 10 minute mark right now, so we're going to do about 5 more minutes. Or until, you know, my, my stash is full, whichever one comes first, and then we'll We'll do the math, but it's it's looking to be over a thousand common degree per hour, and you know you guys will see that for any character that you want to gear out, if you take a thousand common degree, and then you kind of need a two to one ratio of two exquisite essence per one iridescent tier, if you're you know crafting kind of equal parts of. Uh, shoulders, bracers, armor, and then you know if you want to craft a helm or boots or anything like that. But you'll see that. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying, guys. Kind of focused on this run. Oh, I remember. Um, you'll see that, you know, with a thousand common debris and the rest of the mats and obviously, you know, the gold requirement, if you take that thousand common debris and you spend all of it, all of it on crafting, you will find, you will craft up exactly what you're looking for with a thousand crafts. I mean, because just because of smart loot and how it works, you know, you might still not get perfect rolls, but whatever like combination of affixes you're looking for, after a thousand common debris, you will you will get them. So that's not you know, it's not something to be concerned about. Uh, the only crafted item that might be a little bit harder to get, which you know you may want to craft more with, is going to be gloves, because if you're trying to look for you know, primary stat and then trifecta, that's going to be a little bit harder to get. But, or even if you're looking for like 300 vitality, 300 primary, and then uh, crit chance and crit damage, for instance, that's also going to be a little bit harder to get. So gloves will take a little bit longer, but everything else shouldn't take long at all. And we're, we're kind of filling up here, so we're going to do one or two more runs. We're at the 12 and a half minute mark. And then we'll calculate it out. And realistically, like, you probably don't even need to do this for an hour. I mean, if you just want to quickly craft up, like, you know, 50 to 100 Archon Armors, as long as you have the other mats and you have the gold to do it, then like 15-20 minutes of this is going to give you more than you need to do that. And you, know, you don't want to go, in my opinion, you don't want to go too crazy with the crafting because it's all going to be worthless in a couple weeks anyway. Um, because RLS comes out, you know, it's going to help you level to 70, but leveling to 70, like, it's not a big deal. You know, some people kind of use that as a crush and say, well, I want to save my gear now because I'm either going to reroll it or I'm going to, you know, use it to level and then I'll be able to level easier. Well, not really. I mean, by now, you know, people have found enough legendaries to kind of have the toughness needed. 
to take them all the way to 70. And, you know, you might not level from 60 to 70 on Torment 6. But, you know, anyone, anyone, no matter how casual a player, is going to be able to go from level 60 to level 70. Really, even starting with trash gear. And, like, you could literally start with a naked character by, you know, all your gear from the vendor. And not use any Paragon points or anything like that. And on normal difficulty, level to 70 without any problems whatsoever. That's just, that's just a fact. This game is really, really easy now. I mean, obviously Torment 6 is going to be a challenge, but... This game has been nerfed to the point where it's not that hard. So, you know, you don't really want to spend too much time um, crafting, like trying to craft up perfect items, because after a week of playing ROS, you're going to replace everything. So, you know, and I talked about that in my Why Legendaries Are Useless video. That's uh, worth the 15 minute mark. So just craft up something that's going to be usable for the next couple weeks, and then you know enjoy enjoy the XP grind. So anyway, we're at the 15 minute mark, and this is what we got. So let's figure out how many common debris we're actually going to get. All right, so we're at 216 common debris. And it's a quarter of an hour. So that gives us 864. And when I did this, this is kind of RNG based. And when I you know, did a little bit of testing um, on my own, I was over a thousand when I did this. You know, lag, a little bit of RNG. If you extrapolated this to a longer run, you guys are just going to have to take my word for it. This over the course of an hour, and I'm not going to put you guys through an hour unless enough people say, well, I don't believe you, then you're okay, fine, maybe I will. But just take my word for it, this is a thousand uh, common debris per hour, and that's all you're going to need. This is even more than you need. I mean, who needs, you know, over an hour, who needs even 864? So, there you go, guys. Quick and easy way to farm whites. Doesn't take anything. You don't need special gear. You don't need paragon levels, you don't really need money to do it, just get a monk, you know, all you need is spirit regen, resource cost reduction, uh, crappy gear, you know, if you don't have the paragon points to do resource cost reduction, which most people will have, you know, enough, most people will have 50 points here, Spend, but if you don't, I mean, then don't use a weapon like this, go craft or buy something that has spirit regen on your weapon, and that'll put you you know, above the uh, above the threshold. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is Meathead Mikel from MeatheadGaming.com. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And by the way, if you guys see the uh, big box behind me right there, that's uh, that's the case for my new computer, and my new parts are coming in. So I'm gonna have a pretty beast rig here in a few days. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.